Quantum indeterminacy is the apparent necessary incompleteness in the description of a physical system. That has become one of the characteristics of the standard description of quantum physics. Prior to quantum physics, it was thought that a physical system had a determinate state which uniquely determined all the values of its measurable properties. And conversely, the values of its measurable properties uniquely determined the state. Albert Einstein may have been the first person to carefully point out the radical effect the new quantum physics would have on our notion of physical state. Quantum indeterminacy can be quantitatively characterized by a probability distribution on the set of outcomes of measurements of an observable. The distribution is uniquely determined by the system state. And moreover quantum mechanics provides a recipe for calculating this probability distribution. Indeterminacy in measurement was not an innovation of quantum mechanics, since it had been established early on by experimentalists that errors in measurement may lead to indeterminate outcomes. However, by the later half of the 18th century, measurement errors were well understood and it was known that they could either be reduced by better equipment or accounted for by statistical error models. In quantum mechanics, however, indeterminacy is of a much more fundamental nature, having nothing to do with errors or disturbance. Measurement An adequate account of quantum indeterminacy requires a theory of measurement. Many theories have been proposed since the beginning of quantum mechanics and quantum measurement continues to be an active research area in both theoretical and experimental physics. Possibly the first systematic attempt at a mathematical theory was developed by John von Neumann. The kind of measurements he investigated are now called projective measurements. That theory was based in turn on the theory of projection-valued measures for self-adjoint operators which had been recently developed and the Hilbert space formulation of quantum mechanics. In this formulation, the state of a physical system corresponds to a vector of length 1 in a Hilbert space H over the complex numbers. An observable is represented by a self-adjoint operator A on H. If H is finite-dimensional, by the spectral theorem, it has an orthonormal basis of eigenvectors. If the system is in states I, then immediately after measurement the system will occupy a state which is an eigenvectory of A and the observed value λ will be the corresponding eigenvalue of the equation A equals λ E. It is immediate from this that measurement in general will be non-deterministic. The probability is where E is the projection onto the space of eigenvectors of A with eigenvalue λ. Example block sphere showing eigenvectors for poorly spin matrices. The block sphere is a two-dimensional surface the points of which correspond to the state space of a spin one-half particle. At the state side the values of sigma 1 are plus 1 whereas the values of sigma 2 and sigma 3 take the values plus 1, minus 1 with probability one-half. In this example, we consider a single spin one-half particle in which we only consider the spin degree of freedom. The corresponding Hilbert space is the two-dimensional complex Hilbert space C2, with each quantum state corresponding to a unit vector in C2. In this case, the state space can be geometrically represented as the surface of a sphere, as shown in the figure on the right. The Pauli spin matrices are self-adjoint and correspond to spin measurements along the three coordinate axes. The Pauli matrices all have the eigenvalues plus 1, minus 1. For sigma 1, these eigenvalues correspond to the eigenvectors. For sigma 3, they correspond to the eigenvectors. Thus in the state sigma 1 has the determinate value plus 1, while measurement of sigma 3 can produce either plus 1, minus 1 each with probability 1 half. In fact, there is no state in which measurement of both sigma 1 and sigma 3 have determinate values. There are various questions that can be asked about the above indeterminacy assertion. Can the apparent indeterminacy be construed as in fact deterministic, but dependent upon quantities not modeled in the current theory, which would therefore be incomplete? 
More precisely, are there hidden variables that could account for the statistical indeterminacy in a completely classical way? Can the indeterminacy be understood as a disturbance of the system being measured? Von Neumann formulated the question 1, and provided an argument why the answer had to be no, if one accepted the formalism he was proposing. However according to Bell, von Neumann's formal proof did not justify his informal conclusion. A definitive but partial negative answer to 1, has been established by experiment. Because Bell's inequalities are violated, any such hidden variable cannot be local. The answer to 2, depends on how disturbance is understood, particularly since measurement entails disturbance. Still, in the most natural interpretation, the answer is also no. To see this, consider two sequences of measurements, which measures exclusively sigma 1 and which measures only sigma 3 of a spin system in the state psi. The measurement outcomes of her all plus 1, while the statistical distribution of the measurements is still divided between plus 1, minus 1 with equal probability. Other examples of indeterminacy Quantum indeterminacy can also be illustrated in terms of a particle with a definitely measured momentum for which there must be a fundamental limit to how precisely its location can be specified. This quantum uncertainty principle can be expressed in terms of other variables, for example, a particle with a definitely measured energy has a fundamental limit to how precisely one can specify how long it will have that energy. The units involved in quantum uncertainty are on the order of Planck's constant, indeterminacy and incompleteness. Indeed, according to the Koch and Speck theorem, in the quantum mechanical formalism it is impossible that, for a given quantum state, each one of these measurable properties has a determinate value. The values of an observable will be obtained non-deterministically in accordance with a probability distribution which is uniquely determined by the system state. Note that the state is destroyed by measurement, so when we refer to a collection of values, each measured value in this collection must be obtained using a freshly prepared state. This indeterminacy might be regarded as a kind of essential incompleteness in our description of a physical system. Notice, however, that the indeterminacy as stated above only applies to values of measurements not to the quantum state. For example, in the spin one-half example discussed above, the system can be prepared in the state psi by using measurement of sigma 1 as a filter which retains only those particles such that sigma 1 yields plus 1. By the von Neumann postulates, immediately after the measurement the system is assuredly in the state psi. However, Einstein believed that quantum state cannot be a complete description of a physical system in, it is commonly thought, never came to terms with quantum mechanics. In fact, Einstein, Boris Podolsky and Nathan Rosen showed that if quantum mechanics is correct, then the classical view of how the real world works is no longer tenable. This view included the following two ideas. A measurable property of a physical system whose value can be predicted with certainty is actually an element of reality. Effects of local actions have a finite propagation speed. This failure of the classical view was one of the conclusions of the EPR thought experiment in which two remotely located observers now commonly referred to as Alice and Bob, perform independent measurements of spin on a pair of electrons, prepared at a source in a special state called a spin singlet state. It was a conclusion of EPR, using the formal apparatus of quantum theory, that once Alice measured spin in the X direction, Bob's measurement in the X direction was determined with certainty. Whereas immediately before Alice's measurement Bob's outcome was only statistically determined. From this it follows that either value of spin in the X direction is not an element of reality or that the effect of Alice's measurement has infinite speed of propagation. Indeterminacy for mixed states. We have described indeterminacy for a quantum system which is in a pure state. Mixed states are a more general kind of state obtained by a statistical mixture of pure states. For mixed states the quantum recipe for determining the probability distribution of a measurement is determined as follows. 
Let A be an observable of a quantum mechanical system. A is given by a densely defined self-adjoint operator on H. The spectral measure of A is a projection-valued measure defined by the condition for every Borel subset U of R. Given a mixed state S, we introduce the distribution of A under S as follows. This is a probability measure defined on the Borel subsets of R which is the probability distribution obtained by measuring A in S. 